and uh, this is the example here you can see it starts with an introduction to chapter so this should be as precise as possible at the same time it should be pretty much brief the aim is to just clarify everyone what you are going to do in this particular chapter so i'll just read few lines for you okay in this chapter the under the list sorry the researchers understanding is given in regard to specific subject field including theories phenomena and key variables okay this is basics okay then prime reason for this chapter is to offer in-depth insight in depth insight into the studies purpose so uh, as i said before it should always be in line with the research purpose so it has six sections okay blah 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 okay okay these sections all uh, these sections consider the researchers contribution towards achieving the research objectives and questions okay these sections also attempt to examine the study gap in detail okay the last sections fifth and last sections present a research framework and study hypothesis the chapter ends with a brief summary to put the overall discussion into perspective so now we have uh, six sections okay the first section is related to overview of the online environment so why this is important so as you go back so the purpose was to examine the purchase intention but our research is scoped precisely towards an online purchase intention so for this we need to provide any sort of an overview related to the online environment so this is just a basic overview telling you something about online marketing because different people define these things in a different way for example traditional marketing related tools and strategies cannot simply be applied to create product or service demand on the internet instead technological expertise is required to help the business so now what i am focusing at is this the future opportunities are pretty much good in terms of online marketing so anything what you will be doing related to online marketing or online purchase intention will have a good perspective in terms of digital success or you can say simply the business success so now okay going back sorry going uh, forward to this point okay now as you can see the dependent variable was purchase intention in fact the online purchase intention so now we will be considering the online perspective so so here i define this precisely online purchase intention so this is our dependent variable so now different people define this in a different way so a very good way to define this variable is to define under the support of several famous theories for example the theory of reasoned action according to fishman and edson behavioral intentions measure a person's relative strength of intention to perform a behavior so here i would say strongly to you that whatever you write do proper referencing so some of the audience they were asking to me how to find out these sort of references or in other words how to do the proper searching for conducting a particular research so there are few um, in my further videos uh, i will tell you in detail how to do this but uh, specifically related to these videos uh, i will give you a precise overview 
okay but before this i will tell you okay this is the theory where behavioral intention concept is used okay now in terms of online contents there are several people who use this concept in their own way so some people have used under several aspects so which i have summarized at the end so i will right now tell you how to find out such factors or aspects and the clear definition from the perspective of different researchers so for this you need to open internet okay before this i will tell you so what i would say okay we have several sources okay i'm sorry about this okay what i can write here is sources to find research data so oh sorry mm, uh, what we can write here okay i need to put one text box here okay so one source can be internet websites okay you can generally find through google okay this is the easiest way people usually adopt this way so i will not discuss much about this one but something special i need to tell you here okay this mm, research papers find through google okay now how you have to find research paper through google okay although i don't have internet right now so i will just write for you for example it's perceived risk so you will put a colon sign and write pdf so when you click enter so it will lead you to many research paper and those will be available in the form of pdf so what you need to do in terms of this particular research what i'm talking about okay what i need to see perceive risk in purchase intention so there are few things i need to cover specifically in terms of perceived risk what i say perceived risk number one how people define this concept okay is there any conflict of interest among the researchers regarding this concept okay and then how you see the definitions okay but i'll say understanding of the researchers okay it could include support or criticism 
based on your personal analysis or context of research okay then factors or aspects of this variable okay before this we need to find are there any components or you can say dimensions of this variable I'm sorry so factor of this factor or aspects of this variable or its components so what I have done right now by doing so as well as by searching some of the digital resources digital library resources which I will tell you uh, later on such as so later on I will discuss all these things in detail so right now just keep on following what I said so this could be science or science direct dot com and uh, emerald insight dot com and okay etc so in the my later videos I will I will discuss with you in detail so now going back to this com sorry these features so because I am telling you on the basic level so I just used this example and uh, simply I found few of 